Live from your local news leader, Matthew White, Amanda Brennan, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. You're watching The Morning Show at 9 on WCIA 3. All righty, well, as we told you before the break, we're going to bring you a Wise Guys segment, but we also have a lady with us. So not only do we have Paul Quia, but Smita Vishweshwara, and they're here both to talk about a science, well, I should say art meets science event. She told me to change that. And that's going to be held at the Cranard Arts Center this weekend, so get excited. We can't thank you enough both for the time that you're going to give us, but Paul, you said to start with you, kind of walk us through what we need to know. Yeah, so uh, if any of you actually know a scientist, you might hear them say sometime that science is beautiful, and what they might mean by that is that there's a very simple, like one equation that applies to m many, many, many things, and it might seem kind of abstract, but it, it, uh, it describes lots of things, and that's one of the things I always try to do here on Wise Guy is try and bring that to real things that why you would care about it for whatever, for hairspray or for how to start a fire or something like that. But, but sometimes scientists mean it in a different way, where they really mean that uh, science and physics is aesthetically beautiful. So it's really intrinsically beautiful. I, I brought this little Ooh. toy here, okay. which is just, you know, just some pieces of plastic, but it's very iridescent, and you get these funny shapes and things like that. Uh, and so we want also want to expose people to the fact that science is not just a bunch, is certainly not just equations or something right. like that, and also not just applications, but can be aesthetically beautiful. And so that's where I'm going to, and, and profound in that sense. Right. And so I'm then going to turn things over to my colleague, Smita, yes. Uh, to tell you more about this event that's here. Yeah. Yes, I am really excited <laughs> to tell you about, um, it's an art science evening okay. at the Cranard Center for Performing Arts, and we could, if we could have a slide Absolutely. for that. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, essentially, it's really celebrating who we are, our humanity, the quantum within us, and also the cosmos that we're made up of. Uh, it's a free public event at the Cranard Center for Performing Arts, hosted by them, and also by um, Iquist's World Quantum Day, which I think Paul talked about yes, last time. Uh, it's also the launch of Cascade Ooh, okay. Collective for art science, creativity and discovery, Etc. It's a group of uh, over 100 people from the University of Illinois and the uh, Champaign-Urbana community who've connected and created for over 10 years now. And so my beautiful collaborator, theater maker Latrell Bright, uh, wonderful musician Stephen Taylor, and I am a physicist, we sort of have brought them together as a collective. So you'll get a glimpse of past work and also new work and also be welcomed into the community. So, give, so just to give you a taste of the kinds of things that we'll have, if we could have the next slide, um, we will show you snippets of Quantum Voyages, mm -hmm. which is a theater piece where two voyagers guided by the spirit of wisdom go into different quantum realms. And the first one will be, that we'll show you the opening scene, which is light, and you will see a quantum sage, as we call it, the real life physicist coming onto stage. Um, Gina Lorenz will be our quantum sage. She studies photons and it'll be an adventure. <laughs> um, we'll also contemplate on the universe. And then if we could have the next one, uh, there's also a course where the arts meets physics, uh, where these students are amazing. And you'll see the kinds of beautiful creations that they do. And then finally, this question of how do we connect, correlate, how do we observe? It's something that we do in everyday life. Mm -hmm. It's particularly relevant for quantum physics, and that will be embodied through what we call quantum entangle, a new piece that we're creating with um, Alex, uh, Teja, and Kate Lindholm. So that's a little taste of what we'll be showing you. <laughs> well, can I ask too, Smith, kind of what maybe what's the most recent work that you've done that has you really excited that maybe we could see at this event or that you have in the works? So or? both uh, both Quantum Voyages, uh, it's something that Latrell and I had scripted in 2018, which okay. uh, premiered for Sir Tony Leggett's 80th. He's he's our uh, he's my colleague, our local Nobel laureate. So um, it started that way in 2018, but it's had many different iterations. And really, 
the cast, the quantum sages, what they bring in, you will see what we call a quantum ensemble embody photons, take the adventurers into this world. And the other one's quantum and tango. So Alex and Keto are really known in the community for their incredible dance. They've also at Craner at the Cranard, they've they've performed, they've choreographed. And it was really a wonderful dialogue between them through dance, Stephen Taylor through music, and sort of the physics concepts. How do you embody right. these concepts, you know, on stage? How do you relate it to things that anyone on the street might sort of get a feel for? Well, Paul, before we go, remind us when and where this is so we can enjoy it. Yeah, so everything is happening this Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Craner Performing Arts Center on campus, and it's completely free. Everyone is welcome. And uh, if you want to get more information, we put this little QR code up there, and there's also a mailing list uh, if you want to find out about all these kind of events that are coming. And there'll be lots coming. Actually, the next year is the World Year of Quantum, Absolutely. so there's going to be lots of exciting things coming. Yes, and so maybe just to add, it's just a little taste, and as Paul said, there's a whole community of us, not only locally, right. but nationally and internationally, that are really excited about the International Year of the Quantum, so stay, t stay tuned for more. And we will stay tuned for Friday as well. Thank you, Paul, and Smith. Thank you. All right, and you can find this interview on our website and much more, WCIA.com. Make sure you stay with us, though, because Adam, our meteorologist, has your